what is really um, amazing and such a big relief is that we are really all completely at ease and completely, um, yeah, completely powerful. That's our true nature. It's really that power that we, we um, tap into as a human being that we, we are meant to be living as. We are meant to be living completely at ease and completely comfortable within our skin. That's how we are meant to be living. And, and um, what I've seen from my experience is that I previous, before I came to Balanced View, I was so caught up in my thoughts, emotions and sensations. I was so tensed with all the ideas I had about myself or the ideas that other people would have about me. And so I couldn't be at ease at all because I emphasized all the thoughts, sensations, experiences. So all the data that came up for me, I took them as something that had really meaning and could affect my, my um, sense of, of well-being and, and comfortability. And what I found when I came to Balanced View is that there's something about me always completely at ease that I could emphasize in every moment and recognize that as my true identity. I didn't need to take all the descriptions that were just stirring in my mind as, as my, my identity. That, that's what I did before. I thought all the thoughts that I had, that's, that's what, what is me. So I was always thinking, uh, sometimes I feel like this, I feel completely happy and I feel completely extroverted. How do you say that in English? Ex extrovert. Extrovert. And then another day, completely the opposite. I felt I couldn't relate with anyone. I couldn't, um, I wanted to just be on my own and, um, and was completely sad or, or, or everything in between. It could be anything. So I was always thinking, so, so what, is, what, what am I then really? And how can I rely on, on something? I just want to be completely stable. And that is what I found when I came to this training. Something about me that is always stable, that went beyond all these descriptions. So I, I, I learned that I didn't need to um, emphasize these data streams as, as something that is, 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 yeah, is me. And, and, and that was such a big relief because that really showed, showed me that all these fleeting experiences, and we can see that, we can just um, look at our mind a day long and see what all these thoughts and emotions that are passing by each day. They're so fleeting, we can never hold on to them. And that's really the nature of all, all our data streams. We can never hold on to any data stream. So why, why basing our identity on them, something that you cannot hold on to? So we, I really saw that I can really base my identity on something that is always stable, that open intelligence, that is the ground of all knowing, that is the ground of all perception and all, all see, clear seeing. That is what I, I saw. And then I, I, I got not only, I had that recognition, but also I had the um, tools and the whole support system to make that, bring that about in my everyday life, very practically in my everyday life. And, and how we do that is by taking short moments of open intelligence repeated many times. So that is the simple instruction that we receive in the Balanced View training. And that means to rest body and mind completely whenever we naturally remember to do so, when we go around our daily walks of life, when things come up, we just relax body and mind, stopping the train of thought that goes on in our mind stream. We are all so used to, at least I was so used to, to always go into all my my data streams, all indulging all my, my thoughts and emotions, thinking about why I have them, analyzing them completely. It must have been because this and that, maybe because something in my childhood happened or whatever it might be. I had all kinds of concepts about that and completely indulging in them. And, and the reason why I did that was because I wanted relief from them. I wanted them to go away, basically. But now I saw that there's another way I can deal with my thoughts and emotions and sensations. I can let them be as they are. So when a, a thought comes up, without needing to go into a story around them, without needing to indulge them or um, analyze them for why a thought comes, is there or why an emotion is there, I allow them to, 
to be as they are, letting them run themselves out, just being there. I don't need to take responsibility for the thought that comes up. We don't have any control over what emotion and thoughts or any data stream that comes up. But where we can take responsibility is in how we want to deal with that thought. We can either indulge them or emphasize them, or we can allow them to be as they are, not needing to do anything with it. Anything with all our thoughts and emotions, we can allow them to be as they are. That was mind-blowing for me, because I thought <clears throat> when I leave them as they are, they will take hold over me, or they will, you know, they will make me do things that, that um, I, I don't want to do, I thought. Because I thought if I, for example, let anger be as it is, I might act on it in a way that I don't want to, but I found the complete opposite. By allowing it to be as it is, I saw that I, I tap into that wide open intelligence that always knows how to be and how to act that is of most benefit. Using that energy of, of that anger, for example, to see skillfully how to be and how to act. That's our natural way of relating and natural way of being in the world. We all know instinctively what will be of most benefit. And that's what we are opening up to, with relying on open intelligence. We're tapping into that intelligence that instinctively um, knows and has such a greater level of discernment and insight in, in any si given situation that we wouldn't know if we, if we are living from reified uh, intelligence. And reified means that we make any data into a thing. So making things into like all our data into something that has power over us or has an independent nature uh, apart from open intelligence, making it into something. And we see, wow, actually none of our data streams has an independent nature on their own. The basis of all our experience, of all our data is open intelligence and nothing else. That's what we come to see more and more in recognizing open intelligence for short moments repeated many times. We learned how to discern to be of benefit in any situation. And that completely includes what in decision making. Decision making, I, I can share from my experience how easeful decision making has become through relying on open intelligence. Not only easeful, but completely effective. And that doesn't mean that I know every decision right away. That's what I always previously thought. I need to know if I need a decision to make, I need to know it right away. That's what I always thought then I, to be clear on it. But what I saw is, wow, I can completely relax with that and see that and have that trust that the decision will come, become clear. And it's an amazing way to live. It's just a complete knowing that I will know at the perfect time what decision to take. And, and allowing that really to open up, really seeing everything clearly around every decision it's, it's, it's just so a powerful way to live and, and seeing that we don't need to know and be clear right away, but knowing it will become clear. And um, what I also saw then more and more is that because when I did a decision, then I always thought, oh, that was the wrong decision or, you know, these things would also come up. And now I see that my, my well-being is not dependent on any decision that I make. So that is such a big relief. So if I make a decision, and I just know I will be completely fine, whatever decision I make. And then that completely opened me up to allow me to really see, to decide for, for what will be of most benefit. Because the fear of, of making the wrong decision or fear of not, yeah, basically not knowing what to do just never allowed me to see clearly what will be of most benefit. And now I can just completely go for that because there's no, no fear in, in decision making, no fear of making the wrong decision because I just completely know my well-being is not dependent on any decision that I make. And, and that becomes so, such a big relief there and such an ease in, in, in the way I, I am in the world because it's, it's, it's just knowing that, that okayness that, that is always present just is, is completely completely there for me to tap into in any moment. No matter what data stream comes up, and it can be anything, it can be really anything, I, I see that more and more that I'm 
so completely prepared for what life brings. I know exactly that I can face anything that comes up with the support of the Four Mainstays. And the Four Mainstays is the support structure that we, we have in Balanced View. And it is the short, simple practice of short moments, repeated many times, that we can do really everywhere where we are, we are going. And we have, um, as a second mainstay, all the trainings that we are offering, all the talks on the internet that you can freely download. We can really see that it always brings you back to that recognition of open intelligence again and again. And then we have the fourth mainstay, the trainer, someone who has already um, taken, that, taken that step to really um, take responsibility for their data streams and outshining them and making that commitment, 100% commitment in their life, who always can direct us back to open intelligence, just simply by, by sharing their direct experience of open intelligence. And then the community, all of us together, seeing so many people that living in, in that way together that we take complete responsibility for our data streams, really making that lifestyle of, of the Four Mainstays as a priority to have complete peace and, and, and um, well-being just within ourselves but also within society. We all are our society and we are really, I mean, if we look at society now, what is going on in the world, it really needs a change in the way how we relate to our data streams. It really starts with, within, our, with the, within each of one of us to become peaceful and at ease with our own data streams. And then we can see how that plays out in, into our society. We can, we are meant to live at peace with each other and harmoniously. And that's what we are tapping into more and more through the sh short practice of short moments repeated many times. 